you rather have a thousand yards or six touchdowns? What's one thing people don't know about Sam Pittman? How's AJ Green relationship with Rocket Sanders? Those four would be putting us in all these whips. What would be a successful record for y'all this year? Sometimes we get cussed out, but <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. They behind us? Alright y'all, welcome back to the Riding Round Show. The season started, man. Today we have A.J. Green. Some fires out of the backfield, on the run. A.J. Green, Green inside the 30, bounces off. Goodbye, A.J. Green, touchdown, Arkansas. That's good, y'all. Today we're going to talk to you about your three years of Razorback experience, some season expectations, and your passions. Stop in, bro. And I'm right back on Odell. Still got some boys on the payroll. I see you sipping on payroll. She with a pee and a lay at the condo. We bout to eat my Giano. Helping the pee out some beaming on narcos. Thinking I should take the Bronco. All right, we off. First time I think we've had somebody ride around with us, but got the top off, beautiful weather, mine as well. You ever driven a Bronco before? Nope, it's my first time. <laughs> okay, okay. And it's actually nice. It's actually nice. So I would actually buy one of these <laughs> if I got a chance to. I don't know what the sticker price on them is, but I like it's a little it's a little weekend <laughs> top off car. What kind of car do you drive? I got a Ram right now. Oh yeah, you bought it from Lewis Ford. Mm -hmm. So yeah, season starting, um, playing a War Memorial. How's your how's that environment? Uh, I mean, it's still basically like a home game. Uh, all the fans are gonna be there. Uh, probably even more fans from Little Rock area because they don't got to drive as far, you know. Gives them all a chance to exactly. see one game a year. Yes, sir. If I tell the bitch to pull up, she gon' mope at it. My doggy don't smoke on shit unless it's all at it. I don't back and forth, oh, no game, so I'm just gon' let it. See me when you see me if it's smoke, doggy, yeah, I'll leash it. You had about 250 yards your first year, about 450 last year. Third year, you got, you got a number in mind? Uh, I just I just need more than last whatever year. I had last year. Last year. <laughs> That's the main thing. As a running back, is it more fulfilling to hit like yards or touchdowns? Like, would you rather have a thousand yards or six touchdowns? I don't know. That's kind of a hard one because like yards say a lot about like what you can do, and then you can really score a touchdown anywhere in like a football game. You could, somebody could drive all the way down the field, they get all the yards and then you get a five yard run. Sneak in. Yeah, and get you can the have touchdown. 80 yards and five touchdowns. Exactly, <laughs> so I would probably say yards cause that just, you know, and then you would just have more to show. Yeah, I think you should have had more touchdowns last year. I don't remember what your stat was, but you had a lot of like 40, 50, 60 yard runs mm -hmm. and then you would stop inside the red zone and I'm like, somebody else got the touchdown, but I'm like. <laughs> now sit back and take this one in. That's AJ Green. The spin eats the hit. This run's got a little bit of everything. 48 yards to the house, if you remember that name. We gotta talk about your name. You and Chris Paul both <laughs> have the names of other professional athletes. So AJ Green, uh, who played for the Bengals. Mm -hmm. Do people uh, ever give you anything about that? I ain't gonna lie. I done had a couple like young kids like DM me, ask me, are you AJ Green that plays for the Bengals? And I just not even say nothing to them because I feel bad. But then one of the times I was like, no, this is not that AJ Green. Uh, I don't know how you got that confused because my picture don't look nothing like his. And I'm in an Arkansas uniform. But <laughs> you know what's crazy? When you Google AJ Green Razorbacks, it brings up the Bengals on It bring up every AJ Green. I've done looked it up a couple times. It's crazy. So I actually thought about just telling them, start calling me by my real name because I'm tired of it. We'll hop into the Instagram Q&A. How's AJ Green relationship with Rocket Sanders? We close, but like all the running backs were close. Like I called them my brothers for real. Uh, like during practice, we the type of group that like push each other to go harder in practice or if we see something that they didn't get to see in a game. And we all have different play styles. So it just gives us all a little like hint of what everybody can do. And then it allows him to be able to put that into his own game and stuff like that and vice versa same as he would do for me you know I feel like there's so much chemistry within the running backs that y'all aren't really counting yards it's more just like it are we winning like you don't really care who gets the ball more no so yeah that's pretty cool. it's definitely that but obviously as a running back you want to get the ball so I ain't gonna say it's not about <laughs> it's that not but it's definitely about uh 
just being able to perform at our best ability and coming out with the win. Then she kicked in like a two-time world champ. Booted up, then she held me down like a skate ramp. She vaped in my room, then she lit up like a glow lamp. He said, what's one thing people don't know about Sam Pittman? Nobody's ever seen the mad side of him. And it's actually kind of funny, but at the same time, you can like tell that he cares a lot because he will yell at the whole team. He'll stop practice, stop everybody's, and just yell at us on the mic. And yeah, sometimes we get cussed out, but <laughs> it'd be funny. <laughs> they said, do you have a favorite touchdown? It gotta be uh, my first touchdown here against Texas. AJ Green, they are crowding. Kid ran a 10-3 in high school. That's definitely my favorite touchdown so far. Oh, I know this one gonna get raised by fans hot. They said, what would be a successful record for y'all this year? Successful? Undefeated. Okay, <laughs> well, obviously, we know we should have won a lot of games last year. And we, like, four games off being 10 and two. So, I mean, four points off from being 10 and two. So we know that we can put the schedule to work and get a good record out of this season, so. I think I was having a bet with somebody the other day and I was saying nine wins, they were saying seven wins. Seven wins is too low. Thanks. That's too low. So I kinda wanna, we've touched on the running back room, but just my personal take. We got, we've had Dominique Johnson on the show. Mm -hmm. um, we got you on, looking to get the Binion and Rocket on this season. But I, all four of y'all, I think it's even been said by y'all yourselves, you could all probably be starters at another school. I guess, how has Danny Enos managed that? Cause he's kind of the one that has to decide who's in each player. Who's that come down to? Uh, I will really say that it probably comes down to Coach Smith because, I mean, he know what we can do best. I mean, he the one that watched our tape out of high school and all that type of stuff. Like in practice, like when we do certain plays, he'll put certain people in to do this because, like I said, we got all got different skill sets. So uh, that's going to be up to Coach Smith, but I mean, he'll I think he'll do uh, good at it. So Dan Enos was the offensive coordinator when Alex Collins was here, rest in peace. But that was when Alex Collins set his like record running back season. Mm -hmm. So does that kind of like give y'all some confidence? Yes, He's definitely. Done it before. Yeah. yeah, and I would say that his offense kind of complicated for like a like defensive standpoint because there's just so much that is going to be able to open up because everything is like a, an option. Like it's not a guaranteed run, a guaranteed pass, it's like. I heard he likes to run with two running backs on the field. Mm -hmm. And then just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> just see what yeah. happens. Oh, y'all gonna tear it up. You, Rocket, and KJ in the backfield, the ball can go anywhere on the field. That's just crazy. <laughs> what I really want to see, I just thought of this. If Enos is watching this, I want to see KJ toss it to one of his running backs out there and have y'all throw it. It's like <laughs> flick plays. Can y'all throw? I, I can throw. Okay. <laughs> I can throw. Is there a play you know could call to have all four running backs out on the field? Technically, yes, there is actually. Uh, not saying that it would be called, but it could happen. Uh, we got some packages that we putting in right now, but y'all probably see it later on in the season though. Yeah, I just think Eno's is being creative with that. I think that's just the vibe I'm getting listening and talking to like people around the football team this year. It's, it's gonna be creative. Oh yeah. It, Cause I mean, we got so many weapons, so he got just to. come up with stuff off the fly. Like, oh, we can do this. Looking for that end zone once again, and into the touchdown. And for the touchdown is AJ Green. What, what would you say your biggest personal change is from last year? I believe that I'm just more confident in myself. And last, not last year, but like freshman year and stuff, I felt like I let a lot of stuff get in my head. Well, I saw you, you're, I think you got clocked at doing 22 miles an hour running this year, so I think they said you improved your speed, so. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know if that's the fastest I've ever, uh, I can't be actually. I was 185 pounds at one point running fast, so I don't know how fast I used to be able to run, but I definitely did feel fast that day. Yeah, uh, that's in the top five, I think, fastest players on the team. I mean, gotta be running back. Wide receivers and running backs kind of hold it. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was actually tied for a second. Okay. Yeah, I think. It was. <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't a tie, you were in second. 
Oh, well, yeah. What she said. We got a statistician. <laughs> what was your favorite highlight uh, from last season? I'll probably say uh, the bowl game. It wouldn't. It's not even gonna be my touchdown. It's gonna be the touchdown. Uh, Dub scored. The venue? Yeah. Yeah. At the end. At the end, where um, I had the lead block for him. Jefferson with another handoff here, looking for the end zone, diving into Binion, and in for the touchdown. We was ready for the moment. Uh, actually, we was waiting on that moment. So. It was like 56 something, I think. Yeah. Or he took it, made it 56 when he scored something. It was like, it was right there at the yes, sir. end of the overtime. Uh, I think we should get ice cream. <laughs> it is hot, bro. If we don't get, I like that. If we don't get ice cream with the top down, right. what are we doing? <laughs> are you a big car guy? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, man. We right with Lewis then. Lewis Ford be putting us in all these whips, sponsoring some of the athletes' episodes. Do you, I know Rocket has like, he gets, he's got so many referrals since yeah. then that he got like a check from them. But do you, mm -hmm. you do anything with those four like that? I actually have referred a couple people to them, but I'm not sure if they went up there. Right. So the athletes buying the cars <laughs> from Lewis Ford. If y'all not buying the cars from Lewis Ford, I mean, that's the best endorsement I can give them. <laughs> I ain't got to convince y'all. They got all the nice whips we film with. And yeah, if you go pro, what car are you getting? I ain't gonna lie, I don't even really wanna get a whole bunch of cars because I don't, I don't wanna be stupid with my money. Yeah, that's nice. But I think I'll probably get a Mercedes GLE 63 first. It's, it's an SUV that kinda has like the coupe mm -hmm. shape to it. Yeah. Mm, that thing nice, yeah. Go cop some riding around show Mercs, pay for the ice cream. <laughs> There's a photo of you and Cam Little on your Instagram. What's the background on that? That's when we both committed and that we had never met. And then like we had text each other through DM. We was like, yeah, we can take a picture or whatever after the game. Were y'all playing each other? Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all yeah. both from, he's from like Tulsa area, right? Yeah, he's from Oklahoma City area. And yeah, I'm from Tulsa area. Thank you. So you're, <laughs> so unprofessional, man. I'm just like, so you're a junior now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a junior now. It means you're eligible to go to the NFL. Three years eligibility. Do you think it should be like the NBA where it's just, you just need one year? I used to like want it to be that way until I actually like got here and played a year. You need the conditioning. No, yeah, you definitely need to like, I mean, three years, maybe, I say after the second year, like after your sophomore year, and like I feel good after last year, so. She don't like this song. So she finna take sand. Riding around with Evan and we like the whole hands. Over two sips, now he ain't leave the bed. Then I did the pilot to get a cold red. If you had a Madden rating, what would it be? That's not a country, that's a Madden rating. If you had a Madden rating, what would it be? I'd probably say like 86. Like I said, I want to be realistic. I don't want to be biased because that gives room for improvement. Then I could just better myself. The wildest. These speed bumps ain't no joke. I'm telling you. Well, I appreciate you for coming on. I think the audience got to learn you better. For got sure. us hype for the season. Thinking I should take the Bronco. Yeah. OJ, gotta go get it tomorrow. I'm selling out the Apollo. Yeah. Bulletproof truck and it's medic. Yeah. Ain't taking none else for granted. Test a little Bronco off road. Oh, look, somebody got okay. their Bronco. Yeah. Bro, this could be a whole Bronco ad right here. They got the whole Bronco. And that was so smooth. That was. My smooth. car would bottom out. <laughs> they, they probably ain't had no room. They had to park down like that. <laughs>